The objective of this demonstration is to understand the effect of streamlining on drag. To do this, we're going to take a look at two different versions of the same truck design. The first version is a traditional truck design, which we can see on top. On the bottom, we have a more modernized version, which has been streamlined to reduce aerodynamic drag. We'll begin this exercise with the traditional version of the ANSYS truck model. Open a new section of Discovery, close the welcome screen, and browse for the file ANSYS truck traditional.dsco. To begin the exercise, click External Flow. Assign the inlet face as the direction pointing at the truck. Set the ground plane as the direction underneath the truck. The enclosure is then created around the truck. Let's now set up the simulation physics. The default fluid for the simulation is water. Edit the fluid used in the simulation to air. Now let's adjust the boundary conditions. Set the flow inlet velocity to 25 meters per second. Keep the flow outlet pressure set to zero. We can now hide the enclosure. Start the simulation by clicking the solve button. The streamlines are shown by default as the simulation starts. Deactivate the streamlines and activate the contours. Set the contours to display static pressure and make sure the location is set to all faces and surface display priority is set to inner. Go to the model tree and hide the truck assembly. Once the simulation is complete, we can take a look at the results a little more closely. We know the simulation is complete when the hexagon is fully green. Reorient the model to show the front of the truck. This display style is showing us something interesting. The highest pressure areas are on the front of the truck, as we'd expect. Rotate the model. Return to the contours display legend and set the quantity to display velocity. Make sure the location is set to all faces and the surface display priority set to outer. Unhide the truck assembly from the model tree. Activate the cut plane and reorient the model. If necessary, adjust the position of the cut plane. It's easy to now see where the separation is occurring and how that low velocity airflow is related to the separation. If we display the streamlines, we can see this even better. Deactivate the contours and activate the streamlines. If necessary, you can adjust the thickness and count of streamlines from the streamlines menu. Let's zoom out a little bit until we can see the emitter. We can adjust the shape and size of the emitter to improve the display of our results. Click the outline of the emitter and drag until the emitter is sending out only one set of streamlines. Now, reorient the model to a side view. With the streamlines configured this way, we can clearly see a gap. That gap is the area of separation. To close the file, click File, Open. Here you can choose to retain or avoid saving any changes. Then browse for the file, ANSYS Truck Streamlined.dsco. In the second part of this exercise, we're going to examine the streamlined version of the ANSYS truck. Before we define our simulation, let's take a moment to review the changes that have been made. At the front of the truck, a fairing has been added to improve the airflow over the cabin and the front of the trailer. Underneath the trailer, some flaps have been added to improve the airflow around the wheels. And at the back of the trailer, panels have been added to improve the airflow as it passes the end of the trailer. Maybe some of you have already seen a truck like this out on the roads. 
Now that we've taken a look at all the changes, click External Flow. Assign the inlet face as the direction pointing at the truck. Set the ground plane as the direction underneath the truck. The enclosure is then created around the truck. Let's now set up the simulation physics. The default fluid for the simulation is water. Edit the fluid used in the simulation to air. Now let's adjust the boundary conditions. Set the flow inlet velocity to 25 meters per second, and keep the flow outlet pressure set to zero. We can now hide the enclosure. Start the simulation by clicking the solve button. The streamlines are shown by default as the simulation starts. It's easy to see that the flow over the cabin of the truck is much smoother. Let's return to the pressure results to see the pressure on the front of the truck. Deactivate the streamlines and activate the contours. Set the contours to display static pressure. Make sure the location is set to all faces and surface display priority set to inner. Go to the model tree and hide the truck assembly. It looks like our design changes are working as expected. The high pressure region is reduced and we're getting little to no separation in the airflow around the truck. Let's use the streamlines display to examine this even further. Change the display to velocity and unhide the truck assembly. Deactivate the contours and turn on the streamlines. And once again, make the adjustments to the streamlines if necessary. Then, rotate the model and adjust the emitter as we did for the traditional truck model. Now we'll return to the side view again and we can see that there's a much, much smaller area, if any, where the flow is separating. Based on our simulations here in Discovery, it's safe to say that the modifications made to streamline the truck have had the desired effect. This concludes the demonstration examining the effect of streamlining on drag.